Hey, doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review, and it's chocolate peanut butter porter time. Uh, well, really, it's always chocolate peanut butter porter time. But today we're going to be reviewing a chocolate peanut butter porter from uh, Terrapin in the form of their Liquid Bliss. Um, never had this before. I've had a bunch of Terrapin offerings over the past several years, um, but haven't reviewed any up until this point. Why? I don't know. But today we are, so there you go. Um, like I said, we have Terrapin's Liquid Bliss, a chocolate peanut butter porter um, from Athens, Georgia. Uh, it's a malt beverage with natural and artificial flavors. Artificial, a little bit, whatever. Uh, on the side here, we're doing a whole label thing. The government warning stuff. Best before. Oh, I hate best befores. Um, best before the first week of 2015. And this is... Wait. Oh. January, February, March. March. First week of March 2015. This is uh, the third week of January 2015. So... Thank God we got in under that number. 6.1% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, a little story. Unlock your inner zen and delve into this yin and yang of two decadent flavors. Focus on the harmonic togetherness of chocolate and peanut butter as it takes you to a place that you never thought possible. A liquid bliss brewed with peace of mind. And that's pretty much it. Um, Label-wise, it's cool. Um... This is going to be sound really bizarre, and I literally just thought of this and never thought of it before. I find amphibians hokey. Um, the whole hoppin' frog thing doesn't do it for me. The whole terrapin thing doesn't do it for me. Something about the whole amphibian thing must be a deep-seated issue with me. So, if I had a therapist, I'd talk to him about it, but I don't have a therapist. Oh, no, wait, I do. It's called beer. Uh, so, we're going to see what's what. The label's cool. I mean, it's getting your little frog there in a kind of, like, uh, you know... Zen-like pose with a little yin and yang behind it. There you go. Liquid bliss. So, Hopefully there's chocolate. Hopefully there's peanut butter. Hopefully uh, there is porter. Hopefully there is good beer. And hopefully there is bliss. So we are going to find out. Let's see what this sucker has to offer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see. Not much in the bottle there. Finger and a half worth of head. Nice color to it, though. Really nice creamy top, also. Color-wise, I mean, you know, it looks like a porter. What do you want? I mean, there's really not much else you could say about it, other than that it, it is dark. Um, I don't know how dark it is. Super, super holding up to some light. It's a super, super dark, rich mahogany. Um, not a brown, just super, super red. So there you go. Looks like a porter. Let's see what she smells like. Well, there's peanut butter in that sucker. Faint, faint amount of chocolate. More peanut butter than anything. I mean, it's like a fresh, um, grinded, dry peanut. As opposed to peanut butter. A nice fluffiness to it. And like a sweet malt nose. And just peanut butter out the wazoo. I mean, that's peanut butter. Ton of peanut butter in there. Dash chocolate. And your typical uh, porter characteristics. But it smells nice, man. Especially for a, what was it? Six and change beer. 6.1%. Uh, I mean, pretty robust nose. Hopefully it delivers in the mouth. And uh, let's find out. Cheers. Started off awesome. Finished a little flat. Nice beer though. Um, really nice beer. I mean, it delivers. There's a ton of peanut butter in there. Um, even a little bit more chocolate in the mouth there actually is in the nose. Um, nice sweet um, roasted malt and um, zero booze whatsoever. You'd expect that with six point one percent. And yeah, just really nice beer. I mean, at that level of ABV, really nice uh, accomplishment to kind of put that kind of flavor profile on a beer that that's, that's that tiny. Not that 6.1 is tiny, but it's a rather small beer, so kudos to them. Uh, mouthfeel leaves, us up, leaves a little something to be desired, but it's a porter. 
you know, expecting Imperial Stout um, density there. So it's got a nice fluffiness to it. So not too shabby. Um, so yeah, not too bad of a beer at all. Uh, kind of expected, you know, assuming is the worst thing you can do. I was, wasn't assuming much from this beer, but um, I got a little bit more out of it than I expected, which is always a nice bonus. So yeah, not too happy of a beer at all. Um, rating wise, I would give it, um, I'd give it a solid 85. Uh, you know, it's a really nice porter. It is a porter. It's not an imperial porter. It's not a stout masquerading as a porter or anything like that. It's a porter. Delivers really nice um, peanut taste. Um, dash of chocolate. Nice, nice malty sweetness, but not nearly like overly sweet i mean it's just enough there to kind of please me because i like my beers a little bit on the sweet side yeah not too shabby of a beer at all so i'm um i'm digging it so there you go uh 85 overall is that what i said 85 there you go if i didn't that's what i'm saying now uh value and availability i mean terrapin stuff typically in this area you can get it pretty much whenever you want i picked this up from one of those mix of six pack joints so you're, you're usually looking anywhere between nine to twelve dollars for a six pack so you're talking about, let's say, 11 for the sake of argument, $11 six pack of a beer you can readily get available. It's definitely not too shabby. So it's gonna be up there in the eights, uh, value and availability. Not too shabby of a beer. Yeah, I dig it. I dig it. So there you go. Terrapins, Liquid Bliss, Bliss a chocolate peanut butter porter. Uh, not too shabby of a beer. I mean, if you're into porters, like real legit porters, and you want something that has a bit more flavor to it, uh, whether it be chocolate, which is more subdued than the actual peanut butter, which is really big, uh, definitely worth giving a whirl, especially if you're a peanut butter junkie. Really nice beer, especially at its price point. So there you go. Another review down. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Um, if you did or you didn't, uh, or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you'd like to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Massive Beers in all three of those places. Untapped, too. We're on there now, so Massive Beers and Untapped also. And, uh, yeah, another review in the books. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice beer right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.